My name is Ted Rosenberger and I've been a pilot for almost 30 years. Uh, I actually own this beautiful Enstrom 480B helicopter. Uh, it's a beautiful flying helicopter. And several years ago, uh, I developed an interest in getting high quality aerial footage from this helicopter. And I started out trying to mount GoPros to the helicopter and everything and uh, really ran into a lot of problems with uh, getting high quality footage uh, because of the vibration, etc. So I had the idea with all this great drone camera technology out there, uh, th there had to be a way to get the drone gimbals, the, the gimbal cameras to work well on a real helicopter. So I started experimenting. What I did was I uh, started working with a couple of engineers and a few years later we've come up with this invention that we're calling the Skybox. And what the Skybox does is it basically lets you fly uh, high-end DJI drone cameras on the nose of a real helicopter and the Skybox's job is to protect the delicate little uh, drone camera from the wind and the vibration that the helicopter produces. And uh, the end result is that you get amazing uh, up to 6K footage uh, from the nose of the helicopter. So this is some footage of New York City that we took with this helicopter uh, flying over the city. And as you can see, just absolutely rock steady footage, 4K glory, and uh, uh, none of the vibration or the wind affecting the camera. So what's neat about this system, uh, for those of you that fly drones, is that you actually control the camera uh, using a standard DJI remote control. So the pilot flies the helicopter, and then the cameraman can simply use a, a standard DJI control to essentially fly the gimbal. And we've got a lot of people here standing in front of the camera, but uh, you can see I can pan around. And if you want to point over towards the helicopter, you can see that as I pan the camera, the, uh, the skybox enclosure is actually rotating to keep the glass in front of the, the gimbal. So a lot of people don't realize, but those uh, ball-shaped cameras that you see on the nose of uh, news helicopters in uh, a lot of big cities, those cameras cost anywhere from $300,000 to over $1 million. And so one of the reasons that I invented the Skybox was so that uh, helicopter operators in smaller markets could have a cost-effective uh, system that they could get the high quality footage that they want but without that kind of budget because in many cases those cameras are, are worth more than the helicopter itself and uh, so our system costs between twenty five and thirty five thousand dollars which in the helicopter world is super cheap but you're getting the quality you're getting 6k uh, video uh, up to 60 frames a second uh, at 4k so you're getting the quality uh, and I've, the Skybox footage has been used in major feature films. So this is DJI's best cinema camera. So this particular camera is called their X, uh, Zenmuse X7 camera. This has a, uh, a large sensor as you can see and it's actually a, a super 35 millimeter sensor and uh, DJI sells uh, a number of lenses at different focal lengths but this this camera does phenomenal work at night uh, and I've got some uh, night footage I can show you later of New York City taken with this camera and it's just phenomenal the low light low light performance of this the concept here is that the box the box's job is to protect the camera from vibration and wind and uh, but what's inside the box can vary uh, so that's that's pretty nice because it's somewhat future proof. Um, at, you know, all this technology keeps getting better and better. Um, so you don't have to 
throw out the system each time that you know a, a new camera gimbal that you've got to have um, comes out. And to answer an earlier question, um, so DJI has a line of industrial uh, cameras as well, and they uh, have a thermal imaging camera, and so we can fly that as well. So we can do essentially night vision uh, that can be used for police and surveillance work uh, in the same enclosure. We have a, a single little power box and control box that can be put inside the cockpit, and it's literally powered by a cigarette lighter adapter. So it can take from 12 to 24 volts. Many aircraft are 24 volts as opposed to 12. So the camera and uh, the gyros that keep it stable are, uh, are all powered by the aircraft's electrical system. And so it has an indefinite duration. Now these remotes do have a battery. I've been running this all day and you see I'm down to two bars out of four. So uh, really, <laughs> These controllers last longer, the batteries on these last longer than the helicopter can stay in the air. So it, it's, battery life is not a problem. The Skybox fully configured with a uh, camera inside uh, weighs about 50 pounds. And uh, th most helicopters have either a factory mounting location for, for cameras or you can buy an aftermarket uh, mount that allows you to legally attach payloads to the outside of, of, uh, of a helicopter. So what any potential customer of this system would need to do is to buy uh, a, an official mount for that helicopter. And then every mount comes with engineering data that says you're allowed to attach something that weighs up to this many pounds and has this much frontal surface area. Uh, and uh, so in the case of my Enstrom here, the mount on the nose is rated for 100 pounds and 1.75 uh, square feet of frontal surface area. The Skybox is smaller and lighter than that, so it's legal to fly it as a payload uh, on the helicopter. So I've got a website, it's called flyskybox.com, and there's a wealth of information there. And uh, what a lot of customers uh, who become seriously interested in this uh, do is they come out to Allentown, Pennsylvania, where I'm based, and we go fly the real helicopter, and I uh, demonstrate and train you on the system. And uh, uh, I haven't done too many demos where people haven't brought the system home. It's, uh, it's a really excellent product.